Dear Tennis, I remember when my dad introduced me to tennis way back when. <laughs> I was born in 1998, and he was the head of maintenance at a tennis center in 1999, and his and brother and I got introduced to the game. I fell in love with tennis when I understood the one-on-one -on -one competition. I really enjoy competing one-on-one. -on -one. I really enjoy the loss on me, the wins on me and I like to feel fully in control and not have to worry about any teammate. Being in a position to control your own destiny, travel the world, play at the, at the highest level, and then have fans not only in the U.S. but all over. I played my first ATP Tour match in Washington, D.C. in 2014. I was 16. I remember I lost to Denny Gonsoy. I remember I had an ace on the first point of the match, but I, I remember I was super nervous. I was looking around like crazy. I knew every single person in the crowd. So it was a night to remember. Came quite a far away since then. I've won a bunch of matches. I've came very consistent player on the ATP and hopefully for many more years. First part of my tennis career, for even from a young kid, I was on an uphill slope. I was just killing, um, just winning, winning, winning. And, you know, I got caught some adversity there in 2019, you know, losing some matches and whatever, and had to rebuild myself. And it, it's been a great journey. It's something I wouldn't change for anything. Most memorable moment so far in tennis is, is two things. Beating Rafael Nadal at the US Open, fourth round, also getting in the semis, and also cracking in the top 10. I think those are a couple of my biggest milestones in my career. I hope tennis can bring me in the future a Grand Slam. I hope tennis can keep providing me all the opportunities that it's had. putting smiles on people's faces. I think that's ultimately what I love to do. You know, make people feel good with Frank Steele playing the game at a high level. Love for uh, 